My name is uh, Kenyon Kluge. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. I'm the team owner and rider for K Squared Racing. I'm also the team manager and rider for Zero Motorcycles Racing. If you want to find out more information about me, you can look at my website, ksquaredracing.com, or for more information on Zero Motorcycles, go to zeromotorcycles.com. And now I'm going to talk to you about motorcycles. So uh, the way you set your sag on your motorcycle is uh, first uh, best thing is to do is get two buddies to help you out. Uh, that'll make things easier. You you can do it with just two people, but three is optimal. Um, and then pick an end either the front or the back to start with. Uh, today I'm going to start with the front. And the next key step is to pick a point that you're going to measure from and to. So on the front, I like measuring from the bottom of the fork to the top of the dust seal. So that's going to be my measure point right there. And then what you're going to do is lift the bike and completely top it out, which we call a topped out sag, and, uh, and measure that distance between those two points with the suspension completely topped out. Uh, once you've done that, you want to have a friend hold the bike in an upright position, and then you, the rider, get on with your gear on preferably and get in your riding position. So get in the position that you're most likely riding in. While you're in that position, have your friend that measured the first measurement measure the second measurement. Uh, this is gonna be your sag measurement once you subtract the first measurement from the second measurement. Uh, forks can often have stiction in them as well, so it helps sometimes to give it a little bounce and then take that measurement one more time and see what the difference is between the two and the difference is gonna be your, the stiction in your forks. Once you've done the front, you're going to do repeat the exact same thing on the rear. The rear might be a little bit more tricky to find a measurement point, but I like to go from the axle to a fixed point on the tail section. And the key there is to make sure that that fixed point isn't going to move around. So when you, when you top it out, when you lift it, always lift from the frame and not from the point that you're measuring to. And that'll give you a nice consistent measurement. And then again, the same thing, you're going to get on the bike. Assume the riding position that you're normally in. Uh, have somebody studying the bike for you. And uh, measure the topped out distance, then measure the riding sag. Subtract the two from each other, and that's your sag measurement. Once you've done that, you can adjust your sag um, by setting the two bolts at the top uh, here. Dialing it counterclockwise is going to give you more sag, so it's going to lighten the spring load. And then on the rear, the same thing. There's a collar down here, and you can dial it out to lessen the pressure on the spring and give yourself more sag, or dial it in to get less sag. You want your sag to be between about 45 and 50 millimeters on the front, and about uh, 35 to 40 millimeters of sag on the rear for street applications. For race applications, you, that'll get tighter to about 35 to 40 millimeters in the front, and about 25 to 30 millimeters in the rear of the bike.